In early 1951 North American Aviation presented an evolution of the F-86 Sabre to the U.S. Air Force. The new mock-up had wings that were swept 45 degrees, and went by the name Sabre 45. After a significant number of modifications, the aircraft was accepted as the F-100 in November the same year. In January 1952, two prototypes were ordered. A month later 23 F-100As were ordered, and in August an additional 250. The first prototype flew for the first time in May 1953, followed by the second prototype and the first production model in October. The F-100 was found to have superior performance, but had some design issues. The aircraft could develop a sudden yaw and roll, which would happen too fast for the pilot to correct and would quickly overstress the aircraft structure to disintegration. Another issue, nicknamed the Sabre Dance, stemmed from handling characteristics of the swept wing at high angles of attack. As the aircraft approached stall speeds, loss of lift on the tips of the wings caused a violent pitch-up. At low altitudes there was insufficient time to recover. The F-100A entered U.S. Air Force service in September 1954. By November, it had suffered six major accidents, due to flight instability, as well as structural and hydraulic system failures. All F-100As were grounded until February 1955, and due to the problem with this model the Air Force began phasing out the F-100A in 1958. In 1961, the last aircraft had left service. In July 1955 the F-100C entered service. The F-100C was intended to be a fighter bomber, but it shared the flaws of the F-100A. However, because of its high top speed, it proved to be an excellent platform for nuclear toss bombing. Eventually, the model was equipped with a yaw damper and a pitch damper, but when the F-100C was phased out in 1970, 85 aircraft had been lost in accidents. To address the problems with the previous model, the F-100D focused on the ground attack role, with secondary fighter capabilities only. It was fitted with upgraded avionics, including an autopilot. The wingspan was extended and the tail area increased to improve the flight characteristics. The F-100D entered service in September 1956. The model suffered from reliability problems with the constant speed drive, as well as landing gear and brake parachute malfunctions. Refueling probes had a tendency to break away during high-speed maneuvers. The U.S. Air Force lost around 500 F-100Ds, mostly due to accidents. Six F-100As were modified to RF-100A photo reconnaissance versions in 1954. They were used for overflights of Soviet bloc countries in Europe and the Far East. The F-100 Super Sabre was the longest-serving jet fighter bomber in the Vietnam War. When the war ended, 242 Super Sabres had been lost. 186 were shot down by anti-aircraft fire, 7 were destroyed from Viet Cong attacks on air bases, and 45 crashed in operational incidents. The F-100 was also used by Turkey, Taiwan, and France. The French Air Force used it as a fighter bomber in the Algerian War. When the F-100 retired from U.S. service in 1979, 889 aircraft had been lost in accidents, killing 324 pilots.